lovelies, I'm Lisa and welcome to Lovely Channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you an updated living room decor haul, no not haul, <laughs> tour. <laughs> so now that we're in the new year, it's January, Christmas time is over. Sadly, I could have celebrated Christmas for like another couple of months if it were up to me. But uh, I took down all my Christmas decor and everything and um, rather than just putting up all my normal decor, how I had it before fall and Christmas and all of that, I kind of redecorated and changed things up a little. The furniture is all the same, but just the decor pieces, I kind of decided, decided to change things up a little bit. So uh, I just wanted to share that with you all, and I hope you enjoy the video. If you're not already, be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you'll always be updated whenever I post a new video. And also be sure to hit that little notification bell because that will make sure you guys are actually notified whenever I post a new video. And let's go ahead and get into my new living room decor tour. Starting on my front porch, the basket on the left is from Target Dollar Spot, which I filled with pine cones and some Christmas tree clippings. The watering can is also from Target Dollar Spot. And the wreath is from Joann's, and I actually DIY'd it. I had it at Christmas time, but I took the Christmas bow off, so it just has a wintry feel. Then on the inside of my door, I have this little area over here with a rocking chair that I DIY'd. This was my husband Grant grandma's chair and I do have a tutorial on it which I'll have linked below. I have a couple little signs up, uh, this little winter owl and an LED pillar candle in this little crate. I have a DIY welcome sign which I do have a tutorial on my signs. This cow was my husband's grandma's and the flowers in the little tin are from Dollar Tree. This is a DIY wreath I just did recently and I do have a video on that as well. The curtains and the curtain rods are from Kirkland's. And then going over to the my entry table. Kirkland's, and the entry table is one I bought at a vintage store and I painted it myself. I have a tutorial on that as well. These bottles came in this crate and my mom actually gave this to me and then I filled it with some different stems from the Dollar Tree. I have these LED pillar candles which I bought at Walmart on top of wooden candlesticks from Kirkland's and this little cow canister is from a local store. The rug is from Costco. This is a picture that is my father-in-law's also my father-in-law's chairs from lazy boy and then I have a lamp from Costco on top of this little white table from a vintage thrift store I have this picture that my friend made me this little bottle I made with some Dollar Tree flowers and then a marshmallow fireside candle from Bath and Body Works I put these pictures up I just printed them off the internet and then I put them in dollar store frames and lined them with some linen I have this little ottoman that goes with our couch and we have a basket that is from Kirkland's and some blankets. And then in this corner, we have this picture, which is my husband's grandma's. We have a bunch of different things that were hers, so they're just really special. On this little table, we have one of our wedding pictures, a boxwood tree from TJ Maxx, a little cow spool from a local store on top of some books, and our record player, which I'll have the link to that in the description below. And then this used to be one of our nightstands that I DIY'd. Then going on to our clock, which is from Big Lots, and our TV on top of our TV stand, which we bought off of Wayfair. This is just a couple of little things that I've bought at thrift stores and put together with some Dollar Tree stuff and DIY. These baskets are from Walmart. The B and L are decorations that we had at our wedding, but I think they were originally from Hobby Lobby. And then this little winter bird is a gift for my mom. Going on to this area over here, I have a little dog bed that we just bought at JCPenney's for our little puppies, <laughs> or our big puppy. <laughs> and then I have this little stool from a vintage shop, another one of those baskets from Kirkland's, another wedding picture, and then a couple more things that I've DIY'd and bought at thrift stores, and then these pussy willows that I bought from Joann's. And we have this chalkboard that again was my husband's grandma's. I just put this little saying on it. I got the idea off of Pinterest. And then we have some more wedding pictures in Dollar Tree frames that I painted. Then moving on to our couch, which is from Costco. This throw blanket is one that I bought at Costco. And then we have another white throw blanket, which was a wedding gift. These pillows are pillows that I sewed with fabric from Joann's. And then the burlap one I stenciled with Sharpie. Then we have our coffee table, which I also DIY'd and it is from a vintage thrift shop. And this little crate that holds all our remotes and coasters and everything. 
And then moving on to the bookshelf in the back of the room. The bookshelf is from Wayfair, and then we have a bunch of things on top, including this cow picture from Kirkland's, and then this picture that Bry's mother gave us a while ago. And then we have some candlesticks from the thrift store. Um, these little watering cans are thrifted as well. Just some pillar candles and on top of books. As you can tell, I really like candles. <laughs> Then on the bookshelf, we just have an assortment of books, family pictures, and just little random findings. The lamp is from Costco, and then this is a picture that I made that has Proverbs 24, three through four on it. Then we have this Thomas Kincaid painting of San Francisco, which is absolutely beautiful. My father-in-law gave that to us, and then we have this cross that my mother-in-law gave to us for our wedding. And here's one last overview of our living room. All right, lovelies, thank you so much for watching this tour. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what your home decor style is. I wanna hear about how you guys like to decorate your home. I love you all so much. Remember to do everything in love because you are lovely. Bye.